Omega Lady Matic presents Leading Women. When it comes to global reach and name recognition, few companies can rival Google. I also wanted to be more of like a hover over elements. Yeah. One of the key architects of the search giant's rise is its VP of Map and Localization Services and the company's first female engineer. People ask me all the time, what is it like to be a woman at Google? I'm not a woman at Google, I'm a geek at Google, and being a geek is, is just great. In the last 13 years, she has seen Google go from obscurity to being a verb, as in Google it, which has become part of everyday speak around the world. It's just been an incredible amount of growth, and it's like, you know, physics in the 1600s, or biology in the 1800s, and there's big breakthroughs all the time. And she has a long list of breakthroughs, holding several patents in artificial intelligence and interface design. I'm a geek myself. I love to code. I like to use spreadsheets when I cook. <laughs> this powerful voice and game changer in search technology is Marissa Meyer. We're in Mountain View, California, at Google headquarters, by most accounts, an idyllic place full of perks where employees can bring their pets to work and eat for free in the 15 different dining halls. Earlier this year, Fortune magazine named Google as the best place to work in America. Here, we visit Google VP Marissa Meyer as she holds her quarterly planning meeting with the Google Doodle team. Google Doodle is the popular, highly stylized company logo, celebrating holidays and major moments of history. We just have to hit it off the park. Meyer is a hands-on executive who has her imprint all over Google, which she joined when she was just 24 years old. What's it been like to watch this company grow into the behemoth that it really is now? Well, it's been a really fun ride over the years. Uh, but I mean, I think that one of the things that's really notable about Google is how much has stayed the same. So, you know, we have a thousand times more employees now than we did then. Like, the lunch lines are longer than the company was big when I started. <laughs> Um, but at the same time, I really think that Google's done an amazing job throughout of preserving its culture and really preserving what motivates the employees. And what motivates Google is perfecting the search. Billions of people search on Google every day. The company says since 2003, Google has answered some 450 billion unique questions. When Google started, Meyer was among those writing computer code to make those searches possible. I mean, in the early days, we worked 100-hour weeks, 130-hour weeks. Everyone who was here early on worked that hard. But I think we all felt that the technology was really important, that what was happening in the web and what was happening in the world was really important, and that we had a limited window of opportunity to work that hard and really make something for the world. A vision set by Google founders Sergey Brin and Larry Page when they formed the company in 1998. This idea of a blank white homepage with just a box where you know it was very intently focused on search was just something that was really unusual, and you know I was I talked to Sergey and been like, was it minimalism? You know, what were you was it were you <laughs> trying to like make a statement against the clutter? And he was like, you know, we didn't have a webmaster. I don't do HTML, and I needed to test the search engine. <laughs> Along with the company's success comes some criticism, including sharp objection to Google's privacy policies and the company is said to track its users and store their search information as part of an ad delivery system, a huge revenue generator for the company. We actually believe that the ads provide value to end users, and we pride ourselves on the ads being as good as the search results. Obviously, everyone needs privacy for, for different reasons and in different environments. I think the most important thing is that when you're putting out a product or a service, you're really clear with people what the trade-offs are. It's really quite a Meyer is swift to defend dress. Google, where she has come of age as an adult, <laughs> becoming a VP in 2005. And at just 37, she's one of the top female executives in IT. Does the question of how you got here annoy you as a woman, or do you find that there's some validity to it? Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't annoy me, because I guess, to me, the question of how did you get here is, is one of, you know, for humanity, not necessarily that's gender biased. In the coming weeks, we'll bring you more about Marissa Meyer, including how she decided to join Google and why she thinks it's important to take chances in life.